good evening and a, and a warm welcome to uh, each and every one of you here. It's a, um, a real, I think we, we're in for a treat this evening. Uh, it's the, the launch of um, the history of the University of Cape Town covering the period 1948 to 1968. Uh, and those of you familiar with uh, Howard Phillips, the author, and, and his work, you will know that this is a sequel um, that Howard actually wrote the first volume of uh, UCT's uh, founding history, or the laying fun the foundations, the period that covers 1928 to 1948, uh, and so this next volume uh, takes up the story that uh, he ends with in, in 1948. So if one is going to tackle writing a university history, uh, you've got to start by asking a fundamental question, and that is, what is university history? Is it the history of teaching? Is it the history of research? Is it about the changing intellectual climate? Is it about breakthroughs in ideas? Is it school history, but just on a larger scale? Is it about those who taught or those who were taught, about lecturers and learners? Or is it about those who directed the institution's operations, who directed planning, finance, and, and construction? Or, to move off campus, is university history largely about the relationship between a university and the society around it, town and gown? Uh, or is it about how a university fits into a country's system of higher education and how it has contributed to the making of, of professions? Let me conclude by returning to the contents of the book and to suggest that beyond the not unimportant task of examining 20 crucial years in UCT's history, it has three further aims. The first aim is to help a wide array of, of readers, and I anticipate that the readership will indeed be, be very wide. Alumni, academics, current academics, former academics, policy makers, public relations practitioners, people who are interested in the history of education. I want to help to alert them to the fact that UCT between 1948 and 1968 changed dramatically from being primarily in 1948 a teaching institution. By 1968, it was also a teaching and research institution. Uh, an institution which prides itself on being a research-led institution today. And this claim underpins its current status as Africa's top university. And I want to make that very clear, that this is a period of very significant transformation of the university in intellectual and academic terms. We've, we've had an opportunity tonight to launch the book amongst many people who actually were there at the time. And that's a very special experience to have a sense that what is in the book actually rings true for, for many people uh, whose experience spans this whole uh, era of UCT's history. Um, there are, I think, uh, people who were staff, there were people who were students, uh, there were people who were outsiders, but I think looking around and listening to the questions, we've really had uh, a, a good input from the audience. So happily it's not just been me, but also there's been uh, interactive and feedback.